Genji, how is Tokyo so far? Yeah, it's, it's good. It's my second day. Uh, just chilling. I'm glad that I didn't drink that much yesterday, so uh, I'm fresh right now. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, you just got off the plane yesterday. Yeah, it was like really chaotic, like plane, then hotel, back to sleep, and then just play at Senki's. And then, uh, yeah, I just crashed in my hotel room, and then I wake up, and then uh, now I'm here, chilling. Excellent. So, beautiful speed coaster bar. Yeah, like it. What Japanese food do you like? Yeah, I'm actually not like eating fish and stuff. I don't eat a lot of fish, but yeah, if I have to choose, then a ramen. Yeah, and that, that's like all I know from from Japanese food. Like sushi is okay, but uh, tonkotsu. Yeah, I don't know if, they, if that's something they they sell it right here. But all I know. Yeah, but I think like ramen is one of the most safe to say. Yeah. Because you got soup, noodles, meat, vegetables, so everything. So yes. In your free time in Japan, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm just going to uh, work on a lot of music because that's very important. I just want to be here and uh, yeah, do something useful. So when I go back to Netherlands, I have something to work on. So uh, yeah, and for the rest of it, just like chilling and meeting new people. I have a radio show on Block of M radio. So yeah, that, that's, that's one of the things I'm going to do. Yeah, just see the, just walk through the city and whatever. Do you know Crayon Shin Chan? Yeah, from a few years ago when I was a kid uh, on Dutch uh, television. Yeah, but I think they, they, they banned the TV series because it was like, it was not for child, it was not for kids. It was more like adult uh, stuff. And now I just watched it back on YouTube, the Dutch version of it. And then, yeah, something happened. Like, I, I just realized that, that, like, the whole series is not for kids. It's, huh. it's some sexual things in there, and yeah, it's like crazy. And I watched it as a kid, so that's pretty, pretty crazy because I didn't recognize it. But yeah, it was more like adult stuff. Yes, I had this one. Uh, and, I, and I like the painting. It's like. Yeah, Animation of it's like crazy. When you're not DJing or producing tracks, what are your hobbies? Yeah, uh, skateboarding <clears throat> and uh, playing football with my friends. We are, sometimes we are going to indoor uh, soccer fields, so we just uh, gonna hang out there and just play some football. Uh, Nintendo, GameCube, Zelda, of course, Mario Kart, and uh, I think yeah, other hobby is more like uh, oh yeah, uh, editing videos. But actually, that's kind of my work now for the Instagram videos I do on Instagram. Uh, uh, Genji, what are your future goals? It's a hard question. Um, future goals? I don't see me as like DJ for like my whole life. So I'm 23 right now, and I just want want to do something more. But I have to work on it. Like life, I'm just learning playing guitar right now by myself. So maybe I will do some live performances. But I'm like mostly I'm a producer. So I think I would I want to make a lot of music for other artists. Just like if I just put energy on Jengi for like 100%, um, it's, it's not good for me because I just want to focus on not one thing but like two other things. So I get more inspiration. Yeah, but like future goals. Yeah, I don't know. It's like I just messing around with music. And that's all I do, and I think that's that's the most important thing. Because when you are messing around with music, then, then you are, yeah, got a lot of attention someday. Yeah, and if you just be too serious with, with your future goals, and yeah, it's not good for me. I just don't want to think about the future. <laughs> so, awesome. Sounds yeah. great. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Yeah, yeah. have fun in Tokyo. It's a pleasure, yeah. For thank sure. you, Genji.